G'day everyone, Matt from Crank Engineering. And something I've been missing in the workshop for a long time is a radial draw tube bender, which will allow me to bend tube to make chassis, for example. So last week on eBay, I happened to pick up a set of dies, one and three quarter inch dies for a radial uh, draw tube bender. Um, generally, these are pretty hard to make at home successfully if you want to make something that's repeatable. These will be all CNC machined and then these big blocks are all welded on and it's probably heat treated as well. And the, uh, the wiper or the follower die is a big massive chunk of aluminium that's been machined out. So these are specific to one and three quarter inch and they're hideously expensive to ship across from the US where they generally come from. So I happened to pick up a second hand set on eBay at a reasonable price. So I thought, right, it's time to start a build. So there's a couple of different um, ways to build these, either uh, hand operated or hydraulic jack operated like I'm going to be doing here. And I'm going to be building a bender frame based on plans supplied by Nigel at Engineer to Slide. And he's built one of these himself with similar sort of dies and he's been um, supplying the plans to guys on his mailing list. So thanks Nigel. I'm going to be borrowing your design and I'll talk a little bit about how I'm going to do it. And we'll probably just do a time lapse video of me building this thing because it'll be probably quite a few hours of work. So I'll talk a little bit about Nigel's plans and what I'm doing differently just based on what I've got lying around. Okay, so here's uh, the Pro Tools website, just so you can see what we're doing. There's a couple of different styles of, of benders. So this is their, uh, their range. Um, so there's a floor mounted hand operated or there's a hydraulic uh, style, which is what we're gonna be building. So the floor mount looks like this. It's bolted to the floor of your, of your shed and you literally pull on the bar uh, once you mount the dies and you can draw the tube around the die. Um, does need quite a bit of space because the bar is basically horizontal. In the, in the bender and then you need quite a bit of space to maneuver it. So I'm gonna be using Nigel's approach because it's quite a bit more compact, um, either floor mounted or bench mounted and um, I don't think it'll take quite as much space to operate it. So there's the die in there and there's the follower piece. So we're gonna be building the remainder of this assembly. Right, so Nigel's plans suggest you need some 80 mm um, stock to make the follower roller. Um, I've got lying around some 75, so I'm going to modify mine to use the 75. And he calls out um, some all these sides made out of 6 mil, these made out of 3, 6, 6, 8, 3, and 6. So I've got a lot of 10 mil and 6 mil lying around, so I'm going to use that. I'm going to modify it a little bit. The other thing that's important is uh, these dimensions here that, which suit the jack. My jack's a little bit taller than the one Nigel's suggesting so I'm just going to lengthen this a little bit so I can fit my jack underneath. But otherwise I've started rough cutting out the plate that I'm going to need and the bar so um, we'll get into it. And this is not really a very plausible project for the home builder unless you've got a lathe and a milling machine um, mainly because some of the holes you've got to drill like 26 mil needs a obviously 26 mil drill bit which is pretty expensive on its own and then you need a machine with in this case a Morse taper 3 to drive it so if you've got all this gear at home you can probably build it but um, if you haven't you're just going to have to buy one so let's get into it.